Hello and welcome to Ripple Stories, fairy tales reimagined, and stories with representation. Today we're going to be reading Saturday at the Food Pantry by Diane O'Neill and illustrated by Brazida Magro. I picked this book out because it reminded me of the times that I used to take my children to the food bank, also on Saturday mornings and how grateful we were for the yummy food that we were able to get there. So without further ado, let's begin. Dinner, mom called. Chili again, Molly asked. They'd had it every day this week, last week too. Yep, mom said. Tastes even better, the spices sink in. Mom ladled the last of the chili into their bowls. We have fancy milk too, Molly grinned. She watched mom pour milk into the sugar and spices in her cup. Mom shook the milk carton, just a tiny splash, and put it in the refrigerator. Tomorrow we'll get food, mom said. We're going shopping? Molly's eyes lit up. Chicken and spaghetti and ice cream. Well, sort of. We're going to a food pantry. What's a food pantry? Molly asked. It's a place for people who need food. Mom stood straight, her chin high. Everybody needs help sometimes. At bedtime, Mom usually made warm, fancy milk and read a story. Tonight, just a story. Molly tossed and turned, trying to sleep. Her hunger growled. The next morning, they walked to the food pantry. Why do we need to wait, Molly asked. The pantry isn't open yet, Mom said. It's only open certain hours. Molly pulled paper and crayons out of her backpack. She started drawing. Then she looked up. Look, Mom, there's Caitlin. She's in my class. Hey, Caitlin. Caitlin looked away. Molly ran over to her. Didn't you hear me? Caitlin looked down. I don't want anybody to know Gran and I need help, she whispered. Oh, Molly walked back to her mom. Was there something wrong with needing help? Molly wanted to go home, but she was hungry. You okay, mom asked. Why don't you draw me a picture? I love your drawings. The woman in front of them turned, smiling at Molly. An artist. Will you draw one for me too? Molly pulled out her crayons again. Maybe drawing a happy picture would cheer her up. Hey, can you draw me a picture too? Me too. Will you draw me one? Molly ran to Caitlin with paper and crayons in her hands. Help. Everybody wants pictures. I can't draw that fast. Caitlin looked up. Well, okay. Welcome to the food pantry. Soon a woman opened the door. Molly and Caitlin each handed her a picture. Thank you. What wonderful gifts. Welcome, please sign in, said the man at the desk. Mom didn't have to sign her name when they went to the grocery store, Molly thought. But the man smiled at them. Thanks. Grab a cart and stop here when you're done. Lots of good food today. Thanks, Mom said. She smiled, but just a little. Not like when they played in the park. The food pantry was like the little store where they sometimes bought bread and milk. Cans and boxes were on plain metal shelves. Molly ran toward a shelf and picked up a box of sugar cookies. No, Mom said. Then she whispered, they, the 
people in charge. They'll want us to take sensible stuff. Mom's face turned pink. Molly's eyes widened. Why did her mom think that? Why were cookies here if you weren't supposed to take them? The woman at the door and the man at the desk had seemed nice. Would they really not want Molly and her mom to have cookies? Molly swallowed tears. She put the cookies back. They would have been good with fancy milk. Help me put food in the cart, Mom sighed. Just like Caitlin, Mom looked like she wanted to be invisible. But none of them were doing anything wrong. Everybody needs help sometimes, Molly whispered to her mom. Remember? Mom smiled. You're right. Molly pointed at a sign on a huge bin of fruit. What if somebody wants two cantaloupes? A lot of people need help, Mom said. They have to make sure they have enough food for everybody who comes here. Molly and Mom put oranges and a cantaloupe in their cart. Mom handed Molly cans of corn, tomatoes, and cling peaches, bags of red beans, pinto beans, and brown rice, a loaf of wheat bread, a box of oatmeal, and a bag of sugar, spaghetti noodles, sauce, and grated cheese, raisins and tuna and peanut butter too. Mom reached for a big box of powdered milk. We'll have fancy milk tonight. They checked out at the desk. The man pointed to the wall. Ooh, Molly ran to Caitlin. Come here, look. Molly's rainbow sparkled. Caitlin's elf grinned. I was in a sad mood, the man said. Your artwork helped. Thank you. He put the groceries into bags. Then he handed Molly's mom a box of sugar cookies. Saw your little girl looking at these. She can have them, if that's okay with you, ma'am. Mom had a funny look, almost like she wanted to cry. She nodded. Thank you. Everybody deserves a treat, the man said. Enjoy. Molly and mom walked home. They each carried a bulging bag. Molly, she looked around and saw Caitlin and her gran. I didn't know you lived so close, mom said to Caitlin's gran. How nice we're neighbors, Caitlin's gran said. I keep looking for work. They closed the factory, mom said. I've been sick, said Caitlin's gran. We got lots of yummy food, Molly said. Did you? Yeah, Caitlin shrugged. I just wish we didn't have to come to a food pantry. Molly said, but everybody needs help sometimes. And we helped. We cheered people up. Caitlin grinned. We did, didn't we? I have an idea. Let's have lunch together, Molly said. Yes, Caitlin agreed. And we have dessert, Molly said. The man at the pantry gave me sugar cookies. There's enough for all of us. Let's eat. And they did. And that's the end of that story. I'll see you next week for another fairy tale and another story time.